Let's take a look at the confusion matrix. And so confusion matrix is a table to visualize the model prediction versus the ground truth label. So model prediction is what you predict. Ground truth label is data that you have labeled that you know to be correct. Um, these are also known as error matrices because you're basically looking for errors um, and to see where predictions were correctly made. These are useful for classification problems. So imagine we want to uh, figure out how many people ate the banana. And so we have a yes and a no. So we have a data set where we've labeled where, yes, this person ate the banana. No, this person doesn't uh, has not eaten the banana. And then we run the prediction through our model for that person. And then we have that data set. And now we're comparing them, right? So here we have our, our matrix. And because we're evaluating yes and no, we're going to see yes and no along each side based on uh, where they came from. What's important to look at are these words here where we see false negative, false positive, true negative, true positives. And see the word where it says true? That means that in our data set, in our ground truth data, the, the data that we labeled, that we know the answer is correct, that it matched up. So we say, um, we, in our data set, that there were these people that said that they were, uh, they did eat the banana, and then our prediction also said they ate the banana, then that's our score here, that 20 predictions were correct. Okay, and then over here we have, 50 predictions that were correct at assuming that they did not eat the banana. And so these false ones are errors, right? So these are the ones that you need to go make some improvements with your actual um, uh, machine learning model, okay? Or your algorithm. Um, there's other little terms you wanna know. So the idea we have our total false. So our ground truth had 100 labeled items, which are our, our total false. Our label made 70 predictions, which is our total true, right? So down below, look at the numbers added up here because this says true and this says true. So we know these are 70 total true predictions because these are correct. And then up here we have our total false. So we have 75 plus 25. So we have 100 labeled, uh, labeled items that are false or that are incorrect. Then down along the bottom here, we have our total negative. So that was just the amount of uh, predictions and actual truth that were labeled as negative. And then you have your total positives. And so then we have our total, which is T, which gives us 170 items. Now, I just want to point out that um, for the most part, these are what the initialisms are when you're looking at confusion matrix, but there are more initialisms and sometimes there's variance here. So just understand that it will change. And remember that this confusion matrix is going to change in size based on what you're testing against. So if we were testing, if we we're just trying to determine if something's apple, banana, or orange, maybe that's what our machine learning model does or algorithm does, then you'd have way more cells, okay? And then this, these uh, initialisms kind of change, right? They don't work the same way. Um, but you know, just remember the terms like true positive, true negative, because they are used for other things, which we will see uh, in later videos, okay?